all these new AI tools. But will they help you design better? To save your time, I will share all the necessary tools that I use to design products used by folks like you and me. I myself spent countless hours searching for those shiny new tools that would make me a pro UX designer. Spoiler alert, no new tool will help you. It's just good content for social media. It's only gotten worse with all the new AI tools that keep popping up every day. But even AI can't help you if you keep shifting from tool to tool. The resources have been put into categories and everything is timestamped below. So feel free to skip. The first category is learning. I'm going to start off with something I wish I had when I started learning UX and that's the guide to design. This huge collection of resources is structured in a roadmap form and touches every possible design topic that you will ever have to learn. Remember that if you are someone starting out just now, don't assume that you have to go through each and every resource in just one go. Use this as a reference guide throughout your career, not just at the beginning. Next, YouTube. YouTube remains the king of learning even today. If you can master up the self-discipline to not get distracted, then you're pretty much unstoppable. I mean, if the VFX artist of Oscar winning movie Everything Everywhere All at Once can make an entire movie just from watching YouTube tutorials, then what's stopping you to learn UX? I will link some helpful UX related contents that I use so you can go check them out. Next, we have Grow.Design. I'll challenge you to show me a more fun way to learn UX than this. Read the case studies of successful products to understand what's actually needed to build the tools and products that we all love. The free content is good enough to learn the basic principles of UX. Next, and then design. Treat this like the encyclopedia of UX. Why? The godfather of UX, Don Norman himself, is the founder of this company. So, to clear all my fundamental doubts, I always go to their website or their YouTube page. Next, UX myth. The curse of the modern day world and UX in particular is that there are a lot of opinions and some of them just end up being myths. So you can use UX myths and learn what's actually true and what's not. Try not to get too deep into the rabbit hole of debating each myth. A good rule of thumb is if it solves a problem, it works. The next category is designing. I've recently found out a design resource by using which it feels like I'm cheating but before that let's talk over the design tool that you'll be using first. As some of you might have guessed, it's Figma. I assume you know about Figma by now so I'll just give you a direct pro tip here. Use Figma Mirror. It's underutilized but gives a very good idea of how your actual designs would look and I find it to be very helpful. You can use FigJam for the processes involved in ideating or wireframing stages. I personally do everything on Figma and so do so many other professionals that I know. Even for prototyping, use Figma. It's actually super good right now and keeps getting better. If you're a beginner, you don't really need to learn After Effects or Protopies of the world. I wasted a lot of time trying to decide if I have to do these softwares and trust me, I didn't have to. Next, Mobin. I use Mobin to take inspirations from other products. Sometimes page flows and UI sources too. You can find screenshots of all your favorite apps right here. Think about the time you have saved in collecting these screenshots. Use that time in reverse designing these apps. I know that word doesn't exist, but you get the point. Next, Fig Components. This resource just feels too good to be true. You can browse through a list of components and copy paste any of those components into your own designs. It will in fact maintain all those properties like auto layout. Next category is portfolios or case studies. You can check my case study video to learn in depth about how to write a case study, which I will link it up somewhere over here. First resource is Medium. Medium is by far one of the most popular ways to show your work online. It's simple and easy to set up. But if you want to stand out a little and have the time, then build a website on Webflow, Framer, Wix, etc. To make your case studies scannable, use GIFs and video recording. For that, I use Moloswap on Mac and ShareX on Windows. Next. Tally. You'll be taking a lot of surveys, so for that, I use Tally. It's simple to set up and gives a very good experience for the person filling the surveys too. Figma Community Files. You can use Figma Community Files for different purposes, but I mainly use it to get my mockups and some illustrations. Cofolios. Before I write my case studies, I use Cofolios for inspiration. It's a curated list of portfolios from employees at some top companies. What benefited the most for me was learning from the portfolios of the folks at the companies that I wanted to work at. Also, please, please don't get demotivated looking at these portfolios. You shouldn't compare your beginning to someone else's middle and your middle to someone else's end. The last category is general. These are the tools that you'll be using on multiple occasions. The first one is Grammarly. A mistake so many folks make who ask me to check their portfolios is having poor English. I used to think that my English was pretty decent too, but that was until I got a feedback from my mentor telling me that it wasn't. 
but he was right. I articulated my thoughts better when I started using tools such as Grammarly and Hemingway. Speaking about mentors, the next tool is ADP List. It's a platform to speak to mentors. You can use it to learn about the UX field and the processes involved. You can get your case studies or resumes checked too. And a pro tip here, you can use it to have a mock interview as well. If you want a daily dose of inspiration in just 5 minutes, then use Designer Daily Report. It's a tool I have seen a lot of designers use to be updated about the design world. The last resource I wish I had when I started out UX, ChatGPT. This revolutionary tech can be used for anything. I mean, come on, you can ask Don Norman himself to review your work if you want to. The possibilities are endless, just like the tools that you have access to. So remember this, by choosing less, you'll be designing more. And that's what actually matters. Oh. There's also one last tool that I left out, which I think requires a whole different video by itself, which is books. So if you want to know more about books that will help you on your design journey, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make a video on that. And until then, peace.